Hi my loves, happy Friday and happy New Year's Eve. Happy last Friday of the year and uh, yeah, just happy Friday. So today I decided to make the very last video of the year a Abercrombie haul. Um, you guys have been absolutely loving, loving, loving my Abercrombie hauls. Like anytime I feel like I post an Abercrombie haul, you guys just like love the pieces, you love the styling, you love all that fun stuff. So I figured why not make the very last video of the year a Abercrombie haul. So that's what today's video will be about. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Brittany and I like to make videos about like fashion, beauty, style, all of that fun stuff. If you guys aren't already following me, make sure that you guys follow me over on Instagram and on Pinterest. That way you guys can see what I'm loving, how I'm styling pieces, all of that fun stuff. Um, and if you guys are actually following me over on Instagram, you probably would have seen these pieces already. But I just kind of wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about these pieces from Abercrombie because with the new year coming up, I just think that you guys would really, really love these pieces. If you guys do like today's video, feel free to give this video a like and a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. Also, everything that I mentioned in the video will actually be linked down in the bottom bar below. And then if for some reason anything is sold out, I will certainly try and link similar items down below as well. But yeah, these are the items from Abercrombie that I am just absolutely loving. I think that these are good transitional pieces. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get right into the video. So the first piece that I want to talk about is going to be this really cute black top. This is just going to be a really, really pretty, just like basic sheer black button up blouse. I love this. I love just like just the ease of this. I just love the simplicity of this top. I just think it's very effortless and just it's just one of those tops that you can just never go wrong with. Like you can never ever go wrong with a good, simple, basic black top. And I really like the fact that this is sheer. Like I don't own a ton of like black sheer button up tops, um, but I just love the fact that this is sheer because I feel like you can transition this really well into the springtime as well. So like you could throw this on with like a skirt, you could throw this on with jeans, you could throw this on like over a dress if you wanted to. Um, and yeah, I just really, really love this. I believe I ended up getting this top. I want to say I got this top in a, either a medium or a large, but I feel like it already has more of like an oversized feel to it. Um, and yeah, I just really, really love this just basic black button down blouse. So that is the first piece. The second piece that I'm wearing with this blouse are going to be these slit hem like faux leather pants. I love these so much. I think that these pants are so fun. I literally don't own anything in my wardrobe that is even remotely close to this and something about these pants just like drew me in and they just kind of remind me of like the 2000s and I love how they kind of have like that baby flare to the leg but at the end of the day it's still like super cute as well. Like you could do this up with heels of course but then you could also do this with um, sneakers so, like I feel like this would be so cute with sneakers I feel like that's what a lot of like Gen Zers they would probably wear this with like dad sneakers and like a sweatshirt like that would be their vibe um, but I just love these pants I just think that they're so fun and for size reference I actually ended up getting these pants in a 27 regular length which you guys know if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that I tend to get most of my pants and bottoms from Abercrombie in a like a short length, especially the denim, just because I'm only 5'1". But anytime that I'm getting like pants, so whether they're dress pants or pants like this, I love going with a regular length because I like them to just be a little bit longer. My biggest pet peeve is wearing pants, dress pants, and seeing like my entire shoe show. Seeing the entire shoe show just kind of makes me feel like I'm back in middle school. Like there's something about that that I hate. So I always try to get my pants in a regular length just so that they can be a little bit longer and they can kind of like elongate my body because like I said I'm only 5'1 so there's, there's just not much there to work with. I love these pants. I think that they're super cute, very comfortable and I think that they are perfect for all season. The next piece that I wanted to talk about is going to be this really cute black bodysuit right here. I actually have this bodysuit that came out a while ago from Abercrombie in a nude color 
And it's just gonna be this really pretty like corset style bodysuit. I always get all of my Abercrombie bodysuits in a small. I just feel like I, I like them to be just a little bit more fitted. And yeah, I really love this bodysuit. It's just a good basic black bodysuit. If you've never purchased an Abercrombie bodysuit, stop what you're doing and go purchase their bodysuits. They, they just make really, really good quality bodysuits. Yeah, I really love this one. It fits really well. Like I said, I love the little like corset detailing that's on this bodysuit as well. I just think that that just adds a little bit of like extraness to the look. And then I've gone ahead and paired this bodysuit with this oversized, like just super cozy, super cozy cardigan. Um, this cardigan also comes in a, another color as well. Um, I think it comes in more of like a grayish color, but I really, really love this oatmeal color like cardigan. I just think that, again, I think it's really fun. I just think it's just very like cozy and just warm. I, don't, I love wearing like oversized cardigans like this just around the house or when I'm wearing, running errands. And even during the springtime when it starts to get a little bit cooler outside, I like to wear bodies or body. I keep going back to bodysuits. I like to wear cardigans like this with like just a tank top. So like a little bralette, throw on um, this kind of cardigan, some leggings, some sneakers, and then you're like out the door. That kind of look to me is like the most comfortable and just like effortless and easy look um, that I love to wear. So I love this cardigan. It's super soft, it's super cozy, and again, perfect for this season. The next piece that I'm wearing with this look are gonna be these jeans, and I actually featured these jeans in my last video, so my pedal and pup haul, I, I briefly like talked about these jeans. These jeans are gonna be from the Curve Love Collection, and I believe these are called the Skinny Ankle High Rise or Skinny Super High Rise. Again, I'll link everything down below. I didn't need another pair of Abercrombie jeans, but I love these so much. Like, I love just how like simplistic these are. I feel like lately a lot of my Abercrombie jeans have been more of like distressed jeans, and so it's nice to just take it a step back and just go back to like basic just basic skinny jeans again i love these now these jeans i actually did end up getting in a 27 short um because i do like for my denim especially my um like skinny denim to be just shorter i like it to be like my height so that it's not bunchy down on the ankle but yeah i love these jeans i think that they're really fun i just think that they're super comfortable very cozy and again they're from the curve love collection which I've said it a thousand times, it's my favorite, 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 favorite line of all the lines from Abercrombie, so loving these. And then the last little piece that I wanted to show you guys is gonna be this super cute, super fun dress from Abercrombie. I love, love, love this velvet ruching cutout dress right here. This dress was actually from the Influencing in Color collection from Abercrombie, and I just love it. I, first of all, velvet, as you can tell, velvet is at one of my favorite, favorite, favorite materials to wear during the holiday season. I just think it's a really pretty material. I love wearing velvet during fall and winter just because it just puts me in like the holiday mood. It just makes me think of like just holiday stuff, festive stuff, like New Year's Eve, Christmas stuff. Like it just puts me in that mood. I love a good velvet moment for the fall and winter time. And so when I saw this dress, again, I knew I just had to have it. I'm actually wearing this dress in a small petite, um, and that's another reason why I have been loving Abercrombie's pieces all year long. It's just because like some of their dresses actually come in a petite length, which a lot of stores don't do petite length dresses. So I love that. And so I love that this dress does come in a petite length so it's not too long and it still just kind of fits me in all the right places. Yeah, I just, I love, love, love this dress so much. Like I will definitely be wearing this after this year after you know the new years and whatnot i will wear this to brunch i will wear this to you know on a date night like with the girls like i will just wear this anywhere so i love 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 this dress i think it's so fun and again another perfect piece to transition into the new year with. all right my love so that is it so those are just going to be my pieces from abercrombie that i am absolutely loving again i just feel like we had to end this video this year off with this kind of video with the abercrombie 
video because again you guys love the Abercrombie hauls and I definitely plan on doing more like Abercrombie looks and try ones and all that fun stuff in 2022 because that is literally one of my favorite brands and so I definitely plan on doing more of those in 2022 so yeah so that is it um I hope you all have a phenomenal and safe and wonderful and blessed and prosperous and um plentiful and very abundant new year thank you all so so much for being on this journey with me this year and just you know I, I think about when I came back on this platform back in April I was a little nervous and you guys have just showed me so much love the growth that I've had has been amazing and the community that we've built has been amazing so thank you thank you for like being on this journey with me and like being a part of me just sharing things that I love. You guys make doing this so much fun and I thoroughly enjoy like creating videos and creating content and just showing you guys how to style things and you know it's just been really really fun for me. So I'm so excited for what's to come in 2022 and again I hope you all have a fabulous fabulous 2022 you reach all your goals and all of that fun stuff. With that being said, I am actually going to be doing a poll over on Instagram. My next video, which will be the first video of 2022, will actually be a Q&A. I've never, ever, ever done a Q&A on my channel. And so I just want to answer you guys' questions, whether they're about styling things, relationships, um, influencing, career stuff, whatever. Whatever questions you guys have. Make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram because I'll have it in my stories and you guys can definitely send in your questions over there. Hopefully I will be answering your question in the next video. All right, loves. So all of that being said, have a wonderful Friday. Happy New Year's. I love you. Be safe and I'll see you guys next time.